Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Courtney. I'm in like such a good mood today because I went to the gym for like the first time in the month So I'm like yes productive or it was just the pre-workout I don't know about you guys but my finals are literally in like two weeks and I have all these big projects due So I have been so stressed out with everything going on and I was browsing on Pinterest and saw these really cool like stress balls Which I haven't used in so long and I was like I want to make those I need that right now And it looks so fun and if you also want to see like life hacks for dealing with stress especially around this time of year with finals and everything let me know and let's get this video to 2,000 likes and I will make it for you like really soon and before I get into the video the giveaway I have going on is coming to an end and it is for an iPad mini and all you have to do to enter is subscribe it's gonna be ending on Saturday which is the 23rd of April so it's coming up real soon so all you have to do to enter is subscribe and you're good to go and let's go ahead and get into this DIY so for this DIY, what you're going to need is some food coloring, some school glue, some borax or liquid detergent, some balloons, and then some fishnet stockings. So I'm going to start off by using the whole bottle of white glue and just pouring it into a bowl and then adding a little bit of food coloring to it and then stirring it all up. Of course, you can get so creative with this and use whatever colors you want. And then I added a little bit of yellow too to make it a little more greenish color. And then what I'm gonna do is mix the borax, which is like a detergent, you find it in the laundry detergent section, with some water. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour that, once it's all mixed up, we're gonna pour that into the previous mixture of the glue. And now we're pretty much forming slime. So just kind of work it until you get a good consistency. If you want your stress ball to be a little more liquidy, you could pour more of the detergent mixture in it. Um, I did mine a little bit thicker because I was kind of worried about it popping if I made it too smooth. So as you can see, you get this kind of stretchy, squishy material. So then what I did is I took the top of a water bottle and then put the balloon on it and I used this almost like a funnel. I had a regular funnel but I didn't want to like mess it up with the slime so something disposable will work great. You can use like a milk carton bottle or anything and then you're going to work the slime into the balloon. So this is a little bit time consuming but it wasn't too bad and then go ahead and tie it into a knot. Now with the fishnets I'm taking um, the foot part and cutting that out and sliding the balloon into it. The bigger the fishnet, the better this will work. Um, this was like the biggest size I could find at Walmart. But you want to pull it really, really tight and then tie the fishnet and then cut the ends off. And there you go. You have your squishy ball and it feels like the coolest thing ever, guys. It is so, so cool. Let me know if you guys decide to try this out. It is so simple. I literally had all the materials right there in my house. So if you do try it out, like tweet me a picture or something. I would love to like share it with everyone and we could all see like what everyone comes up with and cool color combos and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. If you missed my last videos, they're on both sides of me. You could just click them. If you're on your iPad or mobile device, just click the eye up in the corner and you could still click on them even though you can't technically click. It'll let you do it. So anyways, I'll see you guys Saturday for a new video and I hope you have an awesome week. Bye. Bye.